hello guys welcome to a new video my name is abuzi on today's video i'm going to uh, show you guys step by step on how to set up your mixer brush ready for frequency suppression because a lot of you guys have been on my comment section asking why is my mixer brush not working properly or why is my mixer brush not working at all so without any further ado let's get into the video All right, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to play our frequency suppression action here. Uh, you can download the frequency suppression action using the link in the description below. So after we play our action, the next thing we are going to do is we are going to make sure our mixer brush is selected. And then here above is our settings for the mixer brush. And the first thing you are going to make sure is your mixer brush is on the soft round, not hard round. So you make sure you are selecting the soft round. All right, the next thing you have to do is you have to make sure load brush after each stroke is unchecked. If you see it on a lighter color, uh, on a lighter shade, it means it is not checked. But if you see it on a darker shade like this, it means it is checked. Then it has to remain unchecked like this. And then for the clean brush after each stroke it has to be checked it has to look dark like this which means it is checked this has to remain custom and then your weight should be 30 sorry your weight should be 30 load should be 30 mix should be 30 as well and then your flow should be 30 as well and then here you need to make sure it is 10 so and then the uh, last thing is here sample all layers it needs to be checked well for some computers you may not see this sample all layers you probably see an icon like this then you have to make sure it is checked but if you are seeing sample all layers here you have to make sure it is checked like this immediately you are done setting up your mixer brush for frequency suppression the next thing you are going to do is you are going to head up to your frequency suppression layers the first thing you are going to do is you are going to uh, hide your high fs high frequency suppression layer by disabling it and then you have to make sure you are selecting color correction layer because it is on this layer you are going to be using your mixer brush to mix your skin so let's try mix skin, uh, mixing the skin and see if our mixer brush is working so let's start as you can see it's clearly our mixer brush has been fixed it is working proper properly you can see our mixer brush is mixing the skin for us to clearly see what our mixer brush has done let's uh, check back our high frequency separation layer and then we can do before after before and after as you can see we have mixed the skin which means our mixer brush is working and even on the color correction layer we can clearly see the effect of our mixer brush on the skin let's do before and after again before after before and after well i guess someone may be like this is not the kind of layers i'm using for my mixer brush all right let me get rid of these layers and guess creating the kind of layers you are probably using for your frequency suppression i guess on your layers you are probably not having the color correction and then the low frequency suppression here you may duplicate you may duplicate it and uh clip it to the low low fs like this like this i believe or oh, i guess this is the kind of uh layers you are using for your frequency suppression well the threat is they are all the same they all have they all uh, uh, accept the same settings of the mixer brush the only difference is that on this uh, method you are going to disable or uncheck the sample or layer and then you are going to be using your low fs copy to mix your brush all right let's try our mixer brush on this method and see if it will still work for us so let's try our mixer brush and uh, on the skin and see as you can see seems like our mixer brush is still working 
as perfect as we are expecting it to as you can see our mixer brush is working perfectly let's do before and after on this one and see again before after before and after as you can see it's also working so the only thing you have to know that whatever method you are working with as far as your settings of mixer brush is not correct your skin work will definitely not work and most people happen to tend uh, uh, happen to make a mistake on the settings of the mixer brush so whenever you are setting your mixer brush make sure you take your time and carefully set it before you start mixing your skin if there is something you still do not understand feel free to ask me on the comment section below that is it for today's video if you learned something please don't forget to subscribe turn on the post notification so that you won't miss any of my latest content